Ted and I'm back with another video. It's a sports collection again. It is pretty much a Dan Marino slash football collection. There's some wrestling, there's some caps, but there's a basis around Dan Marino pretty much because of the posters and you got a rookie card and some other stuff. So there's a couple of really good cards and then some random stuff, some wax boxes, some complete sets, some vintage snapback caps, some decals, the wrestling figures. Blah, 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 like I said. So let's go ahead and get started with the posters. These are all vintage 90s, maybe even 80s on the white one there. A stat line, I think it is, poster, like Sports Illustrated had for sale in it. As you can see, that one there. And then one of my favorite ones here is, it's a Ken and Rose. The cats are pulling for you, Lute Olsen. And I'm sure he's not with us anymore. I'm pretty sure he's not. He was an older fellow. He was the coach of the Kentucky Wildcats, or Arizona Wildcats, excuse me. And I hope I got that right. And anyways, this was signed by him. A poster. Looks like the 0304 team. And then there was this random, I don't know, this was with it. Excuse me. Some Edinburgh Festival 1980. Don't know what that is. It's foreign, obviously. Let me put that back over. And then we got a McFarland over here on the far left. It's a Dan Marino McFarland. It actually sells for $30 to $40 on eBay, sometimes a little more, plus shipping. But that was pretty cool. I was surprised by that, and it's not even a variant. This is a unique football. It's signed by Peyton Manning, Gary Kelly, which I'm not familiar with, um, Priest Holmes, and Jerome Bettis right there, Tony Gonzalez, Chris Berman of ESPN, and it's ironically funny. This was the Eagles versus Patriots when the Patriots won in 04. Pretty cool little Super Bowl ball. If I can find the logo, there it is. I think it was 04 or 05 actually where the game took place. There's a cheapy bobblehead of Marino right there. So we covered that. I like that poster a lot though there though. The Mark Clayton, Mark Higgs, and Dan Marino. Team leaders. So we got through that. Let's go ahead and go through. Let's show this piece. Anybody hungry for some gum? If anybody's wanting to chew this, they can buy it from me and chew it. This is a very, very old piece of Wrigley's PK Chewing Sweet. And this is old, like the teens, 19 something. Not, and I mean not 19, like 1915, 1916-ish, you know, what I could tell. I have no idea the value, so if anybody does or if y'all want to rag on me for thinking it has value, go ahead and comment below. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Once again, I'm going to burn this damn thing down i'm gonna always remind y'all because i'm way better than what i'm getting so anyways we'll go back to the rip figures these are all defining moments they're like elite figures there's a scott hall there's a sting there's a hogan uh, ironically those are all wcw guys here's a hope or a undertaker elite and here's another undertaker defining moments these are all like 20 30 40 dollars some the scott hall can sell for 50 and it's sad because i've seen a walmart clearance once where those are like five bucks and they had a shitload. So anyways, we'll throw these over here because I'm going to try to build me a thumbnail because I'm not the most professional damn editor in the world. But I'm getting there. So I mean, we got some caps here. We got some old Spurs caps. And I mean old. They're not that old. These are from the different championships. 05, 05, 05. Here's a Boise State Broncos snapback. Or no, that's, a, that's actually a fit in and it's dirty. But, you know, it was part of the deal. Here's this brand new, not in the greatest shape, though, but not in the worst. It could be cleaned up a little. as a Super Bowl champion back-to-back -back Dallas Cowboys with the tags. That's a Logo 7 cap. And then a couple of car ones, a Flowmaster. And Bad Boys Racing Bad Toys Ford cap. So that's a pretty cool there. Put those down there, and hopefully I can unload these totes here. Um, here we go. I'll try to do this with one hand. It's an uncut sheet of... I don't know if y'all are old enough to remember or y'all stumbled across all world football. They actually had autos in them in 92. And there's a box in here of them, a jumbo box. Excuse me. It's just a sealed or a uncut sheet of an insert set. It's going to be real hard to show. Bear with me, guys. I'm doing this by myself. I'm not the, I'm not the most all-star cameraman in the world. But anyway, you get the point. You've seen it. It's a really nice set. If you framed it, it would um, be pretty damn nice. And you could sell it a whole lot easier too. So there's a poster tube over there. Sorry to show off my awesome shipping area. So we'll get into this first tote here. And what we got going. Hmm. One second, I'll put the phone down. Maybe two seconds. Okay, I'm back. 
Okay, we got a Dan Marino DVD book. This is probably one of the better pieces in here. It's a Dan Marino game used jersey plaque with coin. Pretty damn neat. Number 278 out of probably 50 million. But no, I'm just kidding. It's probably a $50 piece. Nice framed auction item potential. Anyway, we'll put that over there. Then we got some wax boxes. These are all opened, but not opened. So these are just sealed packs. We got factory sets. Nothing great. We got that. That. Here's the all world I spoke of. Show that off. I mean, none of these are going to be spectacular, but they're going to be 15 bucks a box ish. We got an upper deck. We got a tops football. Most of all of these are football, if not all of them. There's an upper deck 93, 92 tops. You got a 95 tops, and you got a. 92 top series one and two with the goals that is um a factory set you got a dan marino dog tag there you got some beckett's which we're not going to leave out and we'll get to the next tote get through this quick as i can we got a vintage miller patch which is pretty cool i don't know what it's worth at least ten dollars oh speaking of patches we got a new york rangers hockey pretty nice vintage patch the only two hockey items, Buffalo Savers, just like a little uh, hockey stick there. Um, actually, and I should have showed these right away, but they're going to be real hard to make out. This is a 1940s or 1950s St. Louis Browns. Yeah, St. Louis Browns. Satchel Page was possibly on this team. It is a team signed ball, and we've made out a couple of the names. I don't see um, Satchel Page on it, but they are very faint. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> I was going to say I don't know what the value is, but um, actually I don't know what the value is. I have a trade on the on the books right now, and a guy's offered me a Merlin Olsen Rams full-size helmet for it, but I don't think I'm going to take it now. I told him I would, but I'm like, eh. And here's just a game-used baseball, another one. They're just um, I just put a little damn logo on it, and they sell it to you for like 30 bucks. I don't know. And this is a 1960s or 1970s. Uh, Baltimore Oreos team sign facsimile ball and yeah facsimile ball blah 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 but it's old it's old from the team shop back in the day you could buy this at the game nowhere else there was no online and I don't know it's got to be at least 30 bucks and we move on to a Dan Marino type watch maybe it's just a I didn't even look at it it's just a Miami Dolphin sorry one hand head and there you go. There's a Miami. And everything and everything is for sale. And the only way it won't be for sale because if I sold it already. So jump on it right away if you're interested in something. Here's a our 2012 factory set tops. Then you got some vintage here. 86 tops football. These are complete. The, th the, the, the star rookie cards are put to the side already. A 91 upper deck. That's nothing. We don't care about that. 0708 Donruss Classics. I don't even know what's in there, honestly. Not gonna look through that. We got some team or um, some vending boxes. Some vending boxes. I didn't go through them. Um, we got a collector's choice set. Uh, 88 tops football that has the Bo Jackson rookie. There's an 87 tops, and there's also an 85 tops with the Warren Moon rookie, which is a very tough set to get in good shape. Actually, I got it over here. I can pull my stuff here. 1985. I'll just open it to show you what's up. There's the Warren Moon rookie right there. Pretty damn clean. And I've already sold this on my auction page. Somebody stole it for $13. On eBay, it sells $30 to $40. Not very happy about that, but I do like hooking up my auction people. And whoever the guy that won it is actually a really good customer. So I'm going to move these down real quick. Again, where I can have some more space. This stuff is thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty, not thirsty, dusty. Okay. Anyways, bear with me. I'm almost done, guys. So stay to the end because it helps my damn algorithm. And my algorithm could use all the damn help it could get. So anyway, here was a bunch of Marinos falling down. Those aren't the good ones anyway. So it was just a stack of like 30 Marinos, maybe more. <clears throat> and right there, boom. Yogi Berra, 1953 tops. Decent shape, no creases, just some rounded corners. I suspect I'll get 50 to 60 for that. That'll be nice. Here is the Merino that goes into the 86 tops. There's a gold card. Here's a really, these are going to get graded more than likely. Here's a Steve Young 86 tops, and that goes with the set, but it looks really good centering. I mean, it's a little off, but if it's a nine, it's in the money, and you know what I mean by in the money. 
is that it's worth way more than the raw card as it is right now. The corners are good, and this, this set was really condition sensitive. And then speaking of another good card, the best card of that set is the Jerry Rice Rookie. And it's also in great shape. It's not a 10. A 10 will bring you like 20 grand or 9 grand. I can't remember what it was, but it's a high number. This card is like a $50 card ungraded, but this looks to be a 9, hopefully. Maybe I'm doing wishful thinking. It's really good shape. And, oh, boom. That's the only problem. <laughs> I forgot about that. The guy put the damn Marino. You never do this, guys. How to take care of your baseball cards. This was a 90s thing. You had to be cheap to do that. You put two damn good rookie cards, and these were good in the 80s and 90s already. Um, so that's a Marino rookie card, and it's really good centered, and it's in really good shape, and it's a 9 all day long, maybe a 10. So I'm going to pluck those out of there, and hopefully they're still in good shape and get them out and get them in good shape. Other than that, there's really nothing else in there. We got that. So pretty much everything, guys. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. If you'd share them with people, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, please hit the like or dislike, comment, positive or negative. I don't care. I'll respond. I mean, I don't know. I got some more stuff here in the binders. I doubt y'all want to see all that. There's some more Merino stuff and blah, blah, blah. I mean, actually, that's all Merinos. That's pretty, well, all Dolphins. So I'll probably have that on my auction page in one lot, whatever it sells for. It sells for blah, blah, blah. There's some Cowboys, all in Cowboys. But anyways, guys, I'm going to make my thumbnail right now. I'm going to admit that. Boom. There's the Jerry Rice rookie. Boom. Anyway, subscribe and y'all have a good day. Peace.